Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Diglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Techno Babylon. When we last left off, we had gotten back to our office at Cell Headquarters and uh, we had received a strange uh, email message with an even stranger attachment that we downloaded to our personal, uh, was it Traveler, is it called? Yes, to our traveler, here, here's the message, the data package. And we were told to uh, read it in, um, in a private place. So when, when there was nobody uh, around to see, uh, to eavesdrop or whatever. And so uh, Charlie didn't want to open it here in his office. So I think the best thing to do right now is try to find a place where we can actually read that message and see what we what they want from us okay surgical lab hmm? locked dr santiago must be working on something he doesn't want me seeing hmm well surgical lab probably is not the best place to go uh, though you can tolerate Dr. Santiago's opinions, it looks like Dr. Preston's the only one in the office. You'd rather avoid another sermon on the merits of centralized government. Okay, so we can't go in... We can't talk to these guys, to these um, cell officers, right? It's cell. The, this kind of police force thingy, isn't it? Not entirely sure. Yeah, cell. So obviously, it says so on the ground. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Cleaner bot. Let's see if we can go in here. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything camera. Sabotaging the camera in your own office is one thing, but people might seriously question you if you start vandalizing the ones on the hallways. So yeah, that might not be a good idea. Might draw a little too much attention. What's behind this door? Okay, what is this? Looks like there's nothing we can interact with except for this, which just gives us a question mark. Hey kid, you all right? They picked this guy up last night. He's got something in his wiring that might be contagious. I guess that means I'm safe, but still, poor kid. Hmm. Something in his wetware isn't working right, huh? Maybe a virus or something. Malware. I don't think there's anything... Anywhere I can go around here, anything I can click on. No, another camera, but... While you question the need for so many cameras within Cell HQ, the waiting room is one of the few places you would never sabotage them. So, this is the waiting room. Hmm, broken light. No! Doesn't look like there's anything we can do here. Plant, can we... Can do nothing to the plant? Bulletins. Oh, this is the same news I think that we got earlier or that we can access on our desktop internet thingy. Oh, so here's an elevator. Let's try that one. Which floor do we end up on? Okay, we end up on a street. I guess that's us in the car. Okay, Cell HQ Animus Balcony. Let's try Animus. Oh, this is the same place where, obviously, the crime was committed earlier. Anything else we can do? The body lies here, unmoved since your earlier visit to the office. Central must want someone more skilled than the coroner to handle it. Okay. You wonder when the coroner is going to get here to clean up. Is there anything we can do? Without the right tools, it'd be too dangerous to go digging through the wreckage. 
Fortunately, nobody was inside the car when the fall happened. You're pretty sure, at least. Well, that's very comforting. Sal Corman. Yes, Doctor. Carry on, Corpsman. Corpsman or Corman? Huh. Can we go upstairs? The elevator's locked. Panel says authorized personnel only. And I guess we're not authorized. So if there's nothing else we can do, we'll get back in the car. And we'll try the balcony. Whatever that is. Fulcrum Tower. Oh wow, this is a cool place. When people worry, there's always something they find to help them. Drinking, the trance, even God sometimes. Me, I've got a place I like to go to. It's helped me when I've been troubled in the past. Well, this looks like a very nice place. It's got a great view. It's got a pile of leaves. Tree. Locker. It's empty. Okay, why is it empty? The storage locker for your gardening tools. Well, I guess you don't do a whole lot of gardening because you don't have any gardening tools. So there's nothing. Plaque. Better not move it. It's where, where it ought to be. Not even having to glance for a moment, those words are etched in your memory deeper than anything else. Viksha Regis, beloved wife, friend to all that lives. 11th August 2034, 2nd of January 2067. Think of us not as engineers, but as artists. So that must be his wife. Wait, it's been a couple of days since I recorded the last bit, so... Uh... Yeah, I remember there was an email that was talking about a place that he had rented and that, I don't know, the rent was due or something something along those lines. So this must be the place. And apparently he buried his wife here, I guess. Well, it's certainly a very nice place. You're not in the mood for gardening. Well, you don't have any tools for gardening. The tree's unusual constitution causes it, causes it to shed its leaves more often than a natural specimen. You diligently tend to the mess it makes as often as work allows. I'm not climbing that. It's sickly enough as it is. I didn't want you to it climb took a it. a lot of work to make, but it was worth it. This engineered tree is the kind of memorial I think she'd appreciate. Hmm. So it's an engineered tree. Is there... You aren't in the mood for a visit to that neighborhood. Down in that part of town, it's all restaurants and corporate headquarters. You're fortunate to have gotten a garden this high up. The view just about clears the city's forest of skyscrapers. And on a good day, the Indian Ocean is visible from your bench. The Indian Ocean? Okay. Well, this seems a place that is plenty secluded, so maybe we can finally look at the data package. Here goes nothing. Dr. Regis. Yes? Regis? So much for privacy. Central's still giving us a negative on the aerostat. It's like it just vanished. So, I thought I'd better give you a heads up. Do you mind? I was in the middle of something. How did you find me? Central told me you'd be here, at Fulcrum Tower. Also, it said, stop turning your traveler off. What a surprise. I like my privacy, though. That's why I come here. You hang around the balconies much? It's a memorial I come here sometimes. 
Take a look at the plaque. Viksha Regis, beloved... Oh. Regis, this is... I'm sorry, Charlie, I didn't know. You wouldn't have. I don't tell anyone about it. Wow. I know you've got some seriously high up strings you can pull, but I didn't think they'd ever let someone be buried up here. And how the hell can you afford somewhere like this? Make sure she's not buried here. It's worth the cost. So she's not buried here. We were married for four years. I'm sorry it couldn't last. We met in our professions. She was a gen engineer as well. You didn't have kids? My previous work, well, it left both of us infertile. We had embryos prepared through IVF, but we never got to using them. I'm really sorry. I remember reading... It was Baxter, wasn't it? Don't push it, Dr. Lau. Sorry. So the buried here, it's worth the cost. Baxter. I think I figured out why you went off the grid to come up here tonight. You heard about Baxter, didn't you? They let a monster like that walk. They didn't parole him because they approve of what he did. He's out because he's got skills Central thought would be useful. With a governor jammed in his limbic system, well, he won't be the same man. He can't even imagine hurting anyone again. Even if it were completely true, I know that there is absolutely no way I could forgive him. On the bright side, he'd probably be pretty mad at you too. Well, if he could have thoughts like that anymore without falling over and puking, you put him away, and that counts for something. So apparently Baxter is the one who killed her and they put something in his head that makes him incapable of, I guess, not just violence, but any kind of ag aggressive thought. Interesting. So she's not buried here, it's You're worth right, the cost. Though. This place is very expensive. Why do you think I live in a pod in the southeast barrel? I didn't know that was where you lived either. She isn't buried up here. She was processed like anyone else. I see. The tree's special though. I made it myself from scratch. Planted and grew? No, made. It's a cross of Chrysophyllum canato and Prunus serrata. The junk DNA in every cell of it contains her entire genome. Wow. Takes a lot of looking after. But you're doing it for her. Makes it all worth it. I know it's not exactly normal for you to open up, but if you want someone to talk to, I... Central wants us? I'm afraid so. We better get going. You coming? Just a, yeah, just a minute. Maybe we can get to the message. I just need a moment to think, Max. A little privacy? It's why I came up here in the first place. I understand, Charlie. I'll be in the car. I'll see how long I can stall Central. Max, I... Yes? Nothing. That's all right, Charlie. I understand. I'll be in the car. I can't ask for her help in this. I'm not even sure what this is yet. You are alone, as requested? Yes. Now what is this about? 1448D-A, 1448D-B, 1448D-C, 1448D-E. Excuse me? What D-D? Your stomach lurches as you recognize the image. You know them, you've seen them before, but you hadn't remembered them by number. Okay. So they're like... Discs? Whoever is calling you has four embryo containers, your own. Okay, that's what they are. What about them? They were removed from the El Rassis Medical Center, originally deposited at 1615 on the 11th of November 2065. They have been fertilized by yourself and Dr. Viksha Regis. They were frozen at the earliest viable phase of growth. Three are female and one is male. They were deposited after your fertility treatment proved... Stop! Why are you telling me this? Who are you? And what are you doing with my kid... My embryos? You are about to meet with a contact, Gil Vanderwall. In his home is an active memory module, a most unique model. You will secure it for us. Further instructions will follow. What if I refuse? Final to it. And what if I don't? That image could be a sim. Apparently, you need more incentive not to waste my time. 
Oops. Uh oh. One is gone. Three remain. Do it quickly. Your legacy is in jeopardy. A conflict brews in your mind and in, in your heart. Giving in to blackmail like this would be the antithesis of everything you stand for, both as an agent of the law and as a human being. On the other hand, you cannot bring yourself to risk a small part of the legacy that you've worked for so many years to maintain. To save the lives of our children? I think I can accept that. I wonder if I chose the other dialogue option if he hadn't, if he didn't smash that one embryo container. So, despite the incident at Animus, I may have some good news. We might have a break in that string of mindjackings. I managed to get Giel Vanderwall, the legitimate businessman, to cooperate. Says he has information on the mindjacker. I thought Vanderwall made it pretty clear he wasn't going to speak to us. Might just be the way you handled him. Tact is apparently not your strong point. I like to speak my mind. What did he say? Didn't want to talk over the... Lau? Central wants a word. Dr. Rangis, Dr. Lau. This isn't just a social call for an update, is it, Central? Dr. Rangis, lately you have spent a great deal of your time off network. It is for your safety and that of the citizens that we... Central? All points bulletin, evacuation in progress at Barber's Gate Transit Station. Case officers Regis and Lau assigned to crisis management. What's happening at the... All case data has been transferred to Dr. Lau. Your vehicle has been rerouted. Please seek an expedient resolution to the situation. Central out. Business-like as ever. Let's go see what this is about. Hmm. Emergency. Barber's Gate Station. Hmm. Cell drone. Caution. Advert. Sir, over here. I'm Dr. Regis. This is Dr. Lau. We've been assigned as crisis management. Corpse Mandurian, 4th Network. Has it gotten any worse? Not yet, but we've not heard any words since... Hey, I'm the only one here who hasn't got wiring in his head. Central hasn't had the decency to update me. Oh, sorry, Charlie. Well, it's another one, sir. Another what? A, uh, bomber. Another one? How did we pick him up? Background. What do we know about the bomber's movement history? Central's managed to pull his entire background on record. In the ten minutes since it caught him? He hasn't been in town long, apparently. Came in two weeks ago, apparently on a medical treatment visit from Canada. Spent most of his time in the barrel or the northwest? Yeah. How'd you figure? Less surveillance. He's been trained, but still apparently scares easily. Central marked him when he tripped a chroma sensor. Central locked down the trains and started an evacuation. It looks like he panicked and holed up in one of them. Hostages demands description. Anyone in danger? Any hostages? Central's not mentioned any in the case file. That either means there aren't any... Or it doesn't consider them sufficiently important. Probably wants the transit running again more than it cares about human life. Sounds like he was surprised. Didn't have time to take any. He's not thinking in terms of hostages. He was made as a weapon. Regis? He's a bio-bomber. The explosives are made of... They are... His bones. That's how he tripped a DNA sensor. Okay, so his bones are the bomb. Huh. That's interesting. It's not gruesome at all. What do you think, Max? What does Central want? Do we have backup? What What's do you your think, take on it, Dr. Lau? Honestly, it's looking pretty lousy for him. Doesn't look like he's got any human shields. I doubt an empty transit station was his intended target either. Very astute. Charlie, we, uh, you're not gonna like this. Central's just bumped the priority. It wants the suspect neutralized. What? I'm going to try to talk him down. I'm going to buy us some time. Well, you can do one while doing the other. 
Neutralized is a vague term. I'm gonna try to talk him down. Regis? It sounds like he's hesitating. I may be able to exploit that. But just in case, get to high ground. Fine. You probably know what you're doing. The signal is hope. Don't fire until you hear me say it. Hope. Got it. Keep the public away, and run one more check for bystanders in the station. We can't afford casualties if this goes wrong. Will Central approve of this? We don't have time to wait and find out. Wish me luck. Okay, so we have to talk a bomber out of blowing himself up because his bones are the bomb. Hello? Who's there? I just want to talk. I'm unarmed and I'm opening the doors. What do you want, heathen? Heathen? The sight is distressingly familiar. The brace, the weakened bones, the signs of tampering in a young man that brings back memories long buried. Hmm. It seems that the best hope would be to leverage what you know about him. Try to find some common ground. You sound American. I'm here to resolve this. You're under arrest. Well, common ground. You sound like you're from America. Am I right? Texas, I'd guess. Yes, you're right. I thought so. I grew up there myself, near Fort Worth. What part do you hail from? H Houston. I can remember what it's like out there. It's part of why I came here in the first place. I'm Dr. Regis, by the way. Some folk call me Charlie. Thomas Beckett. Like the saint. Nice to meet you all, Thomas. All right. Tell me what happened. What are your demands? You're surrounded. So, how do you like the city? It's a wretched den of sin, like Sodom or Gomorrah. Well, it's not my favorite, but I wouldn't go that far. I take it you're not here as a tourist. I'm here to do my duty and strike a blow for the Lord. Really? We're a long way out from the war here. Whole other continent, in fact. I... yes, I know. But now I'm surrounded, and I must make use of what I have. The fire within me! Alright, so he's a religious nut. And he's on a mission from God to blow up... Well, whatever <laughs> whatever he can manage to blow up, in this case the train. Uh, how's the scoliosis? You need medical help. You're not going to last very long. How's the scoliosis? How's the scoliosis? I... what? And the osteoporosis, the rickets, and the diabetes. How do you... It's a common side effect of sloppy prenatal genetic engineering. That, and having your body lay explosive nitrates in your bones instead of calcium. It's a test of our faith. Only the truly worthy who can... It shows just how little the gengineers who made you cared about your health. They made you to walk and to carry a bomb in your bones. The fact that you're a living, feeling, thinking human was merely an inconvenience. Regis, I'm in position. Visibility good, zero crosswind. Standing by. There have been times when I've lost faith, but I can't let this be one of them. I had experience with you guys. You're trying to work out your next move. Don't do anything stupid. Hope. So Hope would probably just get him shot. I've had experience with your guys. You're trying to work out your next move. Don't do anything stupid. Hmm, let's try the experience. I used to work with guys like you a whole lifetime ago. The Lord's Warriors? Something like that. Kids who'd been altered, weaponized you. You've grown up with so many health problems, groomed since birth for a noble sacrifice. But this, does this seem like the glorious role you were promised? It is my duty to God to sacrifice myself. In an empty transit station, thanks to a piece of bad luck? This wasn't where I was supposed to go. But even the original target, it doesn't seem to fit with God's plan. But if I agreed to go with you, 
I'd have failed in my duty. I'd just be a prisoner in a strange land. For the Lord hears the needy and does not despise his own people who are prisoners. Psalm 69, verse 33. You're right. Wherever I am, I'm always in the Lord's sight. There are more ways to do his work than destruction. We can help you find it. We can probably even fix your bones. All right. I shall not resist. Thomas, you've made a wise choice. More importantly, you've made it for yourself. Well, that went pretty well. Corpsman, the suspect has surrendered. Take him into custody. Carefully. Yes, Doctor. Regis, that was amazing! Central's going to be pissed, though. That was a huge risk. Screw Central. Come on. We've got work to do. The Corpsman can handle it here. Yeah, with a little help from the Bomb Squad. What's the Bomb Squad gonna do? Take out his bones? Eleven, fishing. Elysium Tower, Penthouse Suites, T-17 hours. Or T-minus 17 hours, probably. Okay. So, Vanderwall finally agreed to cooperate? Yep, said he could give us a head start on the Mindjacker. We'd better not keep the man waiting, then. All right. Oh, we can't read the sign, but let's take a look at the dock. What do you make of this, Max? My parents' old bot used to spend much more time in the charger than doing its job. I kept telling them to get a new one, but they never like to spend until they have to. Fair enough. The dock in the wall, where the autonomous vacuum cleaner gets its power and offloads its waste. There's a notice above it. The management thanks you for, for allowing the sanitation machinery and staff to continue their work by not obstructing the docks. These stations are for the use of custodial equipment only. Alright. These windows won't open, for insurance reasons. In this part of town, even the buildings look lazy and decadent. That's fairly judgmental. At least, the lazy part, not... Could be decadent. Certainly looks like a place where the richer part lives. So elevator, floating sculpture. Wait, where'd you go? I don't get the appeal of this cubist stuff. Looks more like abstract impressionism to me. A classic piece by Chandler, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that's a lot less impressive when you can call up a search inside your head. Yeah, that, that'd be very interesting. We'd all be wise asses if we had Google in our head. Well, You've never struck me as much of an art lover. I'm not so keen on this kind of thing. The mag coil keeping it floating, however. Picked up mag coil? Huh. Okay, didn't expect that. But yeah, the sculpture is not floating anymore. Here it is. An adjustable magnetic coil, previously used to keep a piece of art floating in the air. So maybe now we can keep something else floating in the air. There's a camera. A panoramic fisheye camera, probably there so that the Vanda walls can decide whether or not they want to let someone in. Hey, open up. It's Regis. Yeah, you probably should. Nope, that's not going to work. Yeah, probably should ring the bell. Vanderwall, you there? You sure he's in? He told us to meet him here. Central hasn't logged any departures from this floor since this morning either. Okay. Well, maybe if we have an iron fork, we could open it up. The access pad for the door. If you're not the owner, then this is where you let them know you've arrived. We haven't got time for this, Gil. 
I don't think he's answering. That's not good. Hey, Max. What's up? The mind jacking case, the transit station, the door, the aerostat, central, that's all. Any luck with the mind jacker's airship? Still nothing. Like I said, it just vanished. And Central still claims there wasn't anything there at all. But we saw it, Regis. Exactly. Something's not right. Hmm. Give me an update on the mind jacking case. Labs come back with a report on the body at Animus. We can definitely link that one to our investigation. Same MO. Victim was wired, brain burnt, but not consistent with a straightforward murder. More like a rapid, intrusive, and destructive brain scan. So we're still going with memory theft rather than elaborate assassinations. Exactly. No conclusive patterns on targets, I'm afraid. Vanderwall said he would give us a lead on the next victim, though. So much for him retiring from organized crime. Well, if he's not going to open the door, he's not going to give Are us any leads. Up? I'm okay. A little hungry. I meant about what happened at the station. I think you did the hard work on that one. Don't let it go to your head, though. That bomber. He was American, wasn't he? He certainly had the accent. Sounded Texan. Did you know him? Well, he said Dr. he was Lab. from Houston. Texas is an enormous place. I do not happen to know every single other person who lived there. And besides, I left well before he would have been born. Do you ever regret doing that? Not for a second. Especially after seeing how it's gotten now. More on There's the more to what was between you and that kid, wasn't there? Like you said, you never met him before, but it seemed personal to you. You're very perceptive, Dr. Lau. It's useful for an investigator. You want me to stop asking? <sighs> There's a reason that kids like him and hundreds others exist. It's not because the seditionists thought that weaponizing the human body was the biggest innovation since air power, but the engineers that got to make these kids, for whatever reason, didn't say no. Regis, I... You could say I knew him too well, inside and out. That is what bothers me. <laughs> I wonder if Central's hiding something. Why do you hate Central, Charlie? What? I don't hate Central. You're always arguing with it. I've seen you sabotage more cameras than anyone. It does so much for Newton. The city runs like a well-oiled machine. Maybe, but I think it's working in inappropriate areas. What would count as inappropriate for a city coordinator? Like this. Fundamentally, policing is a human matter. Machines and synthetics don't commit crimes. I don't expect them to be able to understand how perpetrators think and act. So, you're old-fashioned. You'd rather not talk about it. Maybe later? All right, can she do something about the door? Brain for wetware systems, right? Don't you mean full of wetware systems? Huh, <laughs> this isn't just me being offensive. Can you have a word with the door controls? I'll see what I can do. Connection forms. Got it. I reset the password. It's now password one. I'm just glad you're on our side now. Damn straight. I could probably make a lot more money if I turned to crime. Wait, if she's on on our side now, that means that before she wasn't. Well, at least now we've got the door open, but I think we'll go in in the next part. So I'll end this video here. I'll thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Uh, also consider subscribing and uh, I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.